Hey, what's up my chemistry people? We are going to, for each pair of metals provided, construct a voltaic cell. And then we've got a bunch of labeling to do. As we take a look at problem number one, we are provided with lead and zinc as our two metal electrodes. Now, in order to determine which of those is gonna be oxidized and which is gonna be reduced, I'm gonna to come to my reduction potential chart. I'm gonna find zinc and lead and compare their reduction potentials. Recognize that even though both of these have negative reduction potentials, lead is the more positive of the two and therefore is most likely to be reduced or gain electrons and therefore zinc will be oxidized. So as I think about my oxidation half reaction, zinc is going to be losing electrons and therefore I'm gonna include the electrons on the product side of that half reaction. Lead is going to be reduced and so I'm gonna include the electrons on the reactant side of that half reaction. So I'm just gonna quickly label this as my zinc electrode. In this case, it will be the anode because anox oxidation occurs at the anode. I'm gonna label this electrode lead, which will be my cathode, because red cat reduction occurs at the cathode. All right, so let's check some things off. We've come up with the oxidation half reaction. We've come up with the reduction half reaction. We've labeled our anode and our cathode. So we're looking pretty good. The next thing I'm gonna do is describe the flow of electrons. Electrons are gonna flow from the anode to the cathode. Remember, fat cat from anode to cathode. Boom, flow of electrons. Now if zinc is being oxidized, that means that we are plopping in a bunch of these zinc ions as they lose electrons. They're gonna dissolve into solution. And I'm gonna plate a bunch of solid lead from solution onto my cathode. In other words, I'm gonna be adding a bunch of positive charge to my oxidation half cell, losing a lot of positive charge from my reduction half cell. So to balance the charge and keep that flow of electrons happening, the negative anions, the nitrate ions from my salt bridge are gonna flow into my oxidation half cell to balance out all those zinc ions that are plop it into solution. And my potassium ions from the salt bridge are gonna flow into my reduction half cell to replace the loss of positive charge from the lead playing onto the cathode. Flow of ions from salt bridge, check. All right, now just remember the electrode that's gonna gain mass is gonna be our cathode as those lead ions plate onto the cathode, it's gonna grow in mass. Again, remember cat fat, my cathode's gonna get fat. Boom, electrode that gains mass. And then next, our anode is gonna look like it's dissolving away. It's gonna lose mass, remember anorexic, anode, it's going to lose mass. Electrode that loses mass, check. Okay, then last couple things here. I need to know the oxidation potential for zinc. As I go to my reduction potential list, remember we need to change the sign of this because this is a reduction potential list. So my oxidation potential plus 0.76 volts. My lead is being reduced, so I'm just gonna take that reduction potential as is. So negative 0.13 volts. To determine the overall cell potential, we're just gonna add those two together, which is positive 0.63 volts. Boom, boom, and boom. We are done. 